Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode of my quest to a one build drop tab. So this is the fifth episode, and I've been doing quite a lot of PVM. I've been trying to boost up, because I know I've got to get all of all of these drops that I showed you in the last episode in the list. And to be fair, I'm not going to I'm not gonna surprise it now, so let's just move straight into the clips, and I can start showing you the drops I've got. And then at the end, I'm going to show you the tab at the, at the minute, and give a rough price check, and see how far I am on this quest. So let's get straight into it. Bandos then. You probably see bandos in like every episode, but as you know if you've seen the previous episodes, like I don't have any of the bandos pieces yet. All I have is the boots, which I got in like the last, I think it was the last episode. And so I've been doing a lot of bandos, and I've literally, it's just been nothing so far, but let's see if I get some in these trips. Could be quite interesting. Lots of kills I've got done. We never knew what I could get. But yeah, I was just doing a duo trip with Elf Tales, and obviously I'm in my Tova, but with Fighter Hat. Fighter Hat works nice because it imp improves the accuracy while Tova Helm just gives you some strength. And there you go, I see, you see I got my clue scroll which I did on video yesterday for you guys. So in this setup I li you literally use like no brews, no restores. Because the prayer renewals save you enough prayer so that you can get to the altar which is t every about every 10 minutes. And then restore your prayer to full and it works perfectly. And there you go, my effigy look continues as per usual. What do you expect from Jagex from me? So carried on killing a lot and later in the trip killed a few more as usual but on this it's set up is amazing I mean just the unicorn heals me enough obviously I use soul split as well which really helps but I've got bruise as well just in case which I never used the only time I actually drank super restore for the trip was to make sure I had enough summoning points to restore my to get my next unicorn out and there you go second effigy it is ridiculous how many effigies I get bandits it's just like every time I get one I'm like holy shit <laughs> it's like it's insane, my runecrafting is benefiting. Anyway, we did a duo trip to DKs as well. I mean, I've barely done any of these really. But it's quite interesting to do them. And I, if you've seen my last episodes, you'll know which drops I've had from my hero already. But right now, I get a Dragon Hatchet. Which is actually one of the two drops that I had left to get here. Which is really nice. So it's nice to get one out of the way off the list. And most of the ones I've got left are quite rare, it seems. And it's going to be a lot of effort to get some of them. I like, regret definitely putting that Chaos Ellie one on, because that's going to take a lot of time to get that out, honestly. But yeah, as you can see, this is pretty early in the trip. I literally did not have space to pick it up. It's like, I had to get rid of something, and I n didn't have a freaking clue what to do. Anyway, yeah, so got rid of that prayer pot and just picked up that hatchet. It was a total winner to get that. Really happy to get a dragon hatchet, the first t first one I've ever got. Oh, the only things I've got before is rings. So anyway, later in the same trip, carrying on killing some more. Like, I don't know if I like DKs. I don't think they're that good. I a lot of people say they're really enjoyable, but I never really enjoyed that. I think they're just glue. I don't know. I think it's just the area so gloomy and annoying. But right there, a second dragon hatchet, which was a total winner. I mean. What's the chances of that, eh? Two in one trip before I never drop. I mean, there's all them rings and I got two hatchets in a row. It's pretty mental. But, literally about two seconds later, I mean, this is literally about two kills after. Watch this wreck skill. Watch what I get now. Uh, is it going to be that berserker ring that, that I need? Is it? Is it, guys? What do you reckon? Let's see. Oh my god, you say I'm doing shit here? I mean, come on. This is a slow kill. Like, normally poly polypore is amazing for wrecks because you don't have to use runes or anything, it's just a single staff in your invent and you can wreck it. I mean, you can hit so hard with polypore. I really do think it's a bad item that was brought into the game. Or well, it should have been a lot rarer anyway. And, as you see, I have not got anything off that wreck skill. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate, completely. So, we carried on killing. And now it's a supreme. Let's see what I get off a supreme, eh? Almost down. Very almost down. This is the annoying one, the Supreme, actually. Because you've got to range it, and this really hits, makes, you hit, makes it hit home how crap range is. Because in the game, you obviously, you normally see, like, mad... You don't really see the combat triangle too much completely against each other. But in DKs, all of them have very similar defense against the right type. And they're all, like, about similar level. And if you're using... Obviously, you've got to use a combat triangle here. And... You kill the Rex and the and the Ranger very quickly, and as you can see, another Dragon Hatchet, and that was very very close after the last one. I mean, it was only a few kills after, and it's very ridiculous how many hatchets I was getting. 
I mean, you can see my reactions in game. It's like quite shocked that I'm getting these things. I'm like, holy crap! I mean, three hatches for another drop. That's just mental. Honestly, it's just insane. But later on the trip, that you can tell. I thought since I brought it back, there is another drop to come yet, guys. So again, just ripping through them. I think this is near the end of the trip now, and Elfdale's got that drop, unfortunately. I think she got a warrior ring during the trip, however, but I didn't get anything else. I've showed you all the drops I've got. So let's see what I get after this wreck. Is it going to be finally that damn berserker ring? Who knows? But you see that call over there? I just so wanted it. But you see, I left this empty space in my invent specifically for the drop of this kill because I just knew inside that it was going to be another dragon hatchet. Oh, yeah! Four dragon hatchets in one trip. That was. That's insane. I mean, we, I only did over 100, about 100 kills. Didn't get that many dragon hatchets. Back in the day, they were the best loot. Like, f imagine if they were 3 mil still. I don't know if I made 12 mil in just about, just over an hour. But anyway, as you can see, I'm at Criara. Now, if you've been paying attention to my previous videos, you might know what's coming. But I did my live commentary a couple of weeks ago at Armadil. And I, after the trip, I decided to do another one. And if you read the PR on game, I said to Elf Tales, may as well get another drop while, may as well get a drop while I'm here. As you can see, I'm very low on food. I only got a few rocktails, which Elf Tales actually give me, because she came in just to give me a few rocktails and then tell you out, because um, I was literally out after I finished recording. So the Steel Titan didn't, I don't think it worked too well, I expected it to work a lot better, because like, it's ranging and I expected it just to hit quite hard, and it didn't really work too well, and I really kind of think Unicorn is definitely the way to go. But as you can see, right there, on my skirt, on the floor, and that is actually a drop that I already had on my drop tab. But it's nice, I've got a space holder for it now in my drop tab. And I'm sure when it comes to filling up that one bill, because I might get all the drops and still need another few hundred mil, I'm going to get duplicates of many items, so always going to be fun. You can see my reaction, because I was like, what? I just called it effectively. And then you get the spam with the PMs because of the game feed. But anyway, yeah, that's all the drops I've got, guys. So now I'm going to go into showing you my tab. Right, guys, so as you can see, I'm in game now. So I'm just standing at Luna Bank, got just loads of armor on that I've been using. And I've just took Rage Fire boots into my invent, because I've got the spare steadfast boots on. But just to clarify, like, I, in my last video people thought I had two Rage Fires and two studs. But one was, one set is ones I owned already. So they're obviously, as far as you can see, I've only got one in there that I've actually got as drops. So everything I've actually got in here has been a drop, apart from one clause, which I, I forgot about them, I'm going to take them out as well. Anything at the bottom, it will be stuff that I've already got. Now, obviously, the key I haven't got that's just in there for convenience. When I go to next, I can just drag them out. And I've got a clue there that I actually got today. So, I'm just going to go through things. And so, I've got lots of unexplosives. They haven't really changed anything at all. So, I haven't done any corp or next since the last video. The main things I've done have actually been like bandos. So, as you can see, I've got a nice stack of all coins now. It's starting to build up. 155 of them now. I wonder what it'll be on by the time I get all this stuff. Like, they don't represent all the kills that I've done more kills than that since. I just, obviously, some of them go to my friend and haven't got all of them. So, I've got lots of stuff. I mean, these, obviously, I haven't done any more glaciers. I've only got 51 of them still. Huge amount of pure essence. Lots of coal. And Addy all goes up quite a bit. And lots of rune stuff. As you can see, 23 rune plates now. 19 rune legs. Lots of this is from, like, obviously, doing um, trips to God Wars. Like, lots of rune 2Hs and rune long swords. They're both from doing um, trips to Bandos. And actually, I've got rune picks in here. I've got 18 of them, but for some reason I didn't put them in my drop tab. So I'm not just I'm just gonna leave them out. They don't add up too much anyway. And then obviously I've got my DKs. I've got my four dragon hatchets there. That's pretty nice to see them. And obviously I've got an extra armor skirt. So two armor skirts there. That's pretty cool. The armor set looks amazing as well. Even even just the items in game look good. I mean, look at that. It, I I really do like it. I mean, they obviously we do know there's another God Wars dungeon graphic rework coming and that should be awesome I'm really looking forward to it it should be awesome to see like the whole area updated I mean the graphic reworks that I have done lately are really impressive it's a shame people hate them because of the fact of the FPS issues but as we know Optimus is coming soon and that should fix the FPS too that should be awesome they've got all most of these drops are ones I've already had so obviously I've got like two Zemi Spears the Zemi Hilt that I got no I've only got one Zemi Spear that's a mistake right there Yep, this is sorting it out, guys. Sorting it out for you. So, I haven't got had too many shards compared to... If you look at the amount of drops I've had, regular drops compared to shards, it's ridiculous. It's like shards have been made rare. I used to get them all the, t um, all the time, but 
quite weird. Lots of wines, I mean, they were from like Zami and some KQ kills. I haven't showed you any KQs yet because I have no drops there yet, but I've done quite a few of them. And then I've got lots of herbs. The Grammy snaps all add up from um, Bandos. And quite a lot of other herbs. Like top, those stores mainly from necks and things. So lots of cool stuff. They're from like Corp. So you can look at it if you want. Look at all the just random stuff. And I'm going to get out a rough price check. So let's just go through. I'm going to get no, no, all but one of them. Definitely the pure essence. Should I get a call out? I'm going to get a rune ore out. I'll go back for the call if I want it. Definitely the mage seeds. That should be worth some decent amount of money there. Toastal seeds. Definitely getting them out. Not sure on them ones. I'll go back if I do. Green dragon hides. Uh, 26k chaos runes. I got these in one trip to Chaos Alley. It is ridiculous how many you get there. It is like I mean, every couple of kills I just got like a 2k chaos rune drop. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I mean, I've been there before and never got that lucky. So, pretty crazy. I get them out as well. I haven't got too many blood runes. But I don't know. Water runes and water talismans even. They're worth quite a lot, but I don't think they're worth too much to put in my invent. I've got lots of other stuff to go in. It's hard to price check it all because there's so much, you know. Let's whack out all this. Should I get the spare skirt out? Definitely. Not worth getting the banners boots out. Now, I've already got steadfast boots and retry boots in the bank. I'm actually going to put that spare zemi spear back in. Because I've got one out already. Same with the claws. I haven't got an extra claws out. So, I'm going to get the steadfast out. Well, no, I'll just withdraw the steadfast. I'll just take off the steadfast I've got. It's such a hassle price checking this. You don't even know what I go through. It's, it's terrifying. These herbs are probably worth quite a massive amount. It's hard to tell which one's actually best, you know. Rune bars, should I get them? Go for it. Go for it. Hmm. Tough decision on what else. Should I get the D hatchet out? Oh, me as well. Not sure what else to choose. Not sure. Hmm. I know they're not worth. They're worth quite a decent amount, but not too much. I got the call out. The only R isn't too much. Get the. Uh, should I go for the U seeds? No, I'm gonna go for the Lander Dimes, the Snapdragons, and the Dwarf Weed seeds. So let's price check this event. Could check everything I'm wearing, but this is so much easier. Well, it's not easier. It's just it's more fun. Such a massive amount. Just like I mean, I haven't even added any drops yet. I mean, this is just onyx bolts and a few seeds. And look at that, 50 mil. It's insane the amount of regular drops you get, especially from Nex and Corp. They, them drops really do add up. Just the normal drops. Like, as you can see, it's 70 plus mil, and I haven't added like any of the Armadale stuff or any of that stuff yet. So it's pretty insane. I'm gonna leave that to last. So, oh no, no, not X. All of it. Go, go, go. Wow. That's so everything in me, in everything left in my invent is proper drops. Oh no, I didn't withdraw my steadfast off oh, for fuck's sake. God freaking damn it. That I'm wielding anyway. I'll do them after. So 90.5 mil in regular drops. I mean, this is stuff you get quite commonly in, in regular kills. And I mean, if you include the stuff that's in my tab, it's easily 100 mil. So that's pretty mental. I mean, let's add the Sammy Hill. How much are these there? 4.7? Disappointing. Let's add all this. Two skirts, can't complain enough for that. Only 10 went 6 mil. I thought, oh, they definitely went down. That's very good thing. I have already got four of them, but I've only withdrawn three. So let me spear. That was more than the hilt when I got the hilt. It's disappointing. Add the claws. Still, they're, they seem to be staying about steady. Steady, like, you know, steady 13 mil. And that's 189 mil. But if I take the steadfast stuff that I got. And go back to the price checker. Oh no! Full invent, of course. Why didn't I think of that before? And that's another 41 mil. So if I get the calculator up, that is 41,200 ish. Plus, what is it, 189? It's about 230.2 mil, and I think it was about that on the last episode, but obviously there is a lot of things going down, that is another problem, obviously, I mean, so, anyway, it's a shame the price check isn't too much, but, yeah, 
nothing we can do about that. The stuff is going down, but I am trying my best to get some. Obviously, the drops I've got this up. Ooh, that looks like a DC right there. Oh, <laughs> good fucking fight. I was going to put the stuff back in the bank there, but I thought it lagged. But obviously, it's a DC. And yeah, I can see at the bottom of my screen I've DC'd. I've got a 100 megabyte broadband put in, and it's just it is awfully bad somehow. I don't know. I think the modem is just awful. But I need to get that sorted because it is really annoying to go to a boss. Obviously, the drops that I've got this video aren't worth huge amounts. And we we'll, should see this drop number go up soon. It's very hard to price check everything. Obviously, you can understand why when you've got only 28 in spaces to price check at once. I wish they just add a bank price checker. It'd be so much easier, Giants. But they said no because I don't want to be the game to be out getting rich. I mean, it's stupid. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And my pri and I should be heading to one bill soon. Obviously, obviously, yes, you know, by the previous problem, it's going to be hard to show you one bill in an event. But you should see it soon. I'll know what about when it's about one bill anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I know you really like the series, so I should try and get another episode out soon. And I'm going to be doing a lot more PVM and try to get a few more drops. But I'm just going to quickly show you this. And I've got a little dash next to it if I've got it. And the only extra one I've got this video is... Dragon Hatchet. So as you can see, I still need Berserk Ring. So quite a lot left to get. I mean, I need the Dragon Pickaxe, full Dragon Tip Body and 2H. Quite a lot of things left to get. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video.